Hi, Jerry here with Subaru XV Crosstrek Central. Today's project is going to be a very simple one. I'm going to be disconnecting the daytime running lights on my Crosstrek. So the daytime running lights are really just the high beams that uh, power is supplied to through a resistor and drops the voltage down between 8 and 9 volts. Which is why they have that orangish, yellowish, not very nice looking color on them that I don't like. So um, it's a very simple thing to do. We're just going to unplug that resistor and to get to it, it's very easy. It's a place we've been to before. Right underneath the passenger side front uh, fender and there's just a couple things we have to disconnect. There are a couple of uh, push pins right here and then a uh, Phillips head screw right up in here that we're going to be disconnecting. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just pop these pins out. You've seen this if you've watched any of my videos before. You've seen these come out very easily. And then we will just go up and Set up that Phillips head screw and that allows us to get up inside. Looking up in the wheel well we see this curious looking object. That is the resistor that the uh, power goes through before it gets to those uh, high beams. So the resistor drops the voltage. That's like a, think of it as a dam. on a river that uh, restricts the water flow. Same thing with the resistor. So all we're going to do is reach up here and unplug this connector. And that is it. It's that simple. I'm just going to wrap some electrical tape around this connector and zip tie it up in here. This is like the easiest thing you could do. I think my girlfriend could probably do it. Well, maybe not my girlfriend, but my Shih Tzu could probably do it probably take care of this. Later I'll be, uh, so there's a, a plus 12 volts going into that and then a lower voltage between 8 and 9 volts coming out of it. I'm just going to be taking that plus 12 volts going in and um, running that to some daytime running lights later on some uh, LED ones. That'll be another project so stay tuned for that.